PVC roofing membranes are one of the most popular types of roofing material for commercial flat roofs today. But what is PVC? What are the benefits? And is it a good option for your building? I'm Kevin Tolnai with Colony Roofers, and in this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about PVC roofing. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC, is the third most widely produced synthetic polymer of plastic. PVC membranes are single ply roofing solutions, meaning that they are sheets of material which can be chemically adhered or mechanically attached to insulation in order to provide a layer of protection. PVC membranes are made out of two layers of polyvinyl chloride, sandwiching a polyester mesh between for additional reinforcement. PVC membranes are chemically treated to resist bacteria, heat, fats, oils, as well as being UV stable. Of course, every type of roofing system comes with its own set of pros and cons and deciding which one is right for you can feel overwhelming. PVC is a great choice if you're interested in investing in a durable, cool roofing system with a longer lifespan than most other roofing materials. PVC is highly resistant to tears and punctures, which makes it a good choice for roofs that require a lot of traffic. PVC is also resistant to UV rays, so if you live in a climate with a lot of sun exposure, it will stand up to the damaging effects of sun better than other options. It is also worth noting that even though TPO roofing is widely touted to be a more affordable option at the time of installation, PVC can easily be more cost effective over time because of the longer lasting roof. PVC membranes have an average lifespan of 20 to 30 years. This makes them significantly longer lasting than TPO, which generally has a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. There are a number of factors that affect the lifespan of PVC roofing system, including installation quality, climate, proper maintenance, and number of roof penetrations. To make sure PVC membranes last as long as possible, maintenance is key with regular inspections, including checking flashing and seams after heavy rain, you can catch any potential issues early on and fix them before they become costly. What are the pros of PVC roofing? PVC is one of the most popular roofing materials for good reason. Some of the pros of PVC roofing include durability, high chemical and fire resistance, ease of installation, and finally, energy efficiency. Let's take a look at each one of these. First, durability. The strength and durability of your PVC membranes is one of their biggest advantages. Because they last on average more than 20 plus years, they're a great option for property owners who don't want to worry about a roof replacement again for many years to come. The required minimum breaking strength for PVC is 200 pounds per inch, but the American Society of Testing and Materials has shown that many PVC membranes available actually have a much higher minimum breaking strength. This is important because it means your roof will be able to withstand the micro movements that can happen during a harsh wind without tearing or breaking. Next one is chemical resistance. Another one of the major pros of PVC roofing is that it is highly resistant to chemicals. If you have a building that you expect will be exposed to chemicals on a regular basis, either from your own business or a nearby business or perhaps an airport, PVC is the roofing material you want. PVC is also resistant to grease and oils, making a popular choice for restaurants and hotels. If chemical exposure is a major concern for your property, you may even want to look into PVC KEE, -E, 
membrane, which is a widely considered to be the thermoplastic membrane with the best chemical resistance of all of them. Third one is fire resistance. One of the most important things you can look for in a roof membrane is fire resistance. PVC is a polymer that is naturally fire resistant, but beyond that, additional fire retardants are added to the formula. This means PVC roofing is very slow to catch or spread fire. And once the source of flame or heat is no longer present, it is even self-extinguishing. Fourth is ease of installation. Another great thing about PVC is it is relatively easy to install. This means you don't have to worry about extra expense of a labor-intensive installation. PVC comes in large, lightweight sheets that can be moved around with ease and are installed relatively easily compared to other materials. Finally, energy efficiency. PVC roofing has the added benefit of helping to keep your building comfortable and keep your cooling costs down in the summer months. Because PVC membranes are white in color, they have high solar reflectivity. This means that instead of absorbing the sun's heat and energy, your roof is able to reflect most of it away from your building, putting less strain on your cooling system and helping to keep energy costs down. Now that we've gone over the pros of PVC roofing, we'll tell you about some of the cons. Some of these include that they are not well suited for colder climates. Two, that they can be costly. Three, that they shrink over time. And four, that they present some repair challenges. Let's talk about each of these. First one is that they are not well suited for extremely cold climates. The climate conditions of your build, that your building faces are especially important factor to think about when considering PVC roofing. PVC typically is not a good choice for cold climates because in extreme cold, it can actually cause the PVC to shatter. Reinforced PVC membrane can be used, but even this will not prevent shattering entirely, only prevent it from spreading. If you live in a colder climate, EPDM or TPO, which don't face the same issues with shattering as PVC does, are much better options for your flat roof. Second one is cost. Between the three most common types of roofing membrane, which are TPO, EPDM, and PVC, PVC at installation time is the most expensive. However, as we mentioned before, even though upfront installation cost is more expensive, it can be worthwhile considering that PVC membrane will last the longest of the three. Keeping in mind the total cost over the lifespan of the roof, PVC can be, still be a cost-effective option, perhaps the most cost-effective option, even though more expensive at the beginning. The next con is shrinking over time. Another disadvantage of PVC roofing is that it will shrink over time. This is because PVC is a rigid material. In order to make it a flexible membrane sheet, what is known as plasticizer needs to be added to the formulation. Sometimes the plasticizer is not compatible, so it tries to separate at a molecular level which causes the shrinkage that is often seen in PVC roofs. The shrinkage could lead to leaks and costly repairs, especially as your roof gets older. The last one is repair challenges. We always hope you won't have to make any repairs but over the course of 20 to 30 years, it's likely that you will have to. Another thing to consider when looking at roofing materials is how easy or difficult it will be to repair them later on. Manufacturers use different formulations of PVC membranes, some that are not compatible with 
others and will not weld together. The reason this matters is because sometimes manufacturers make significant changes in their formula over time or even go out of business entirely. This can pose challenges when repairs are needed because the same material may not be available. You'll need to find another formulation of PVC that is compatible with your manufacturer. There are a lot of factors to consider when choosing a new roof for your building. The best way to make a determination about what is right for you is to consult with a professional roofing contractor. If you need help assessing your roof, you could always give Colony Roofers a call. We'll come out, help you make the right choice for what is best for your building based on the important factors that need to be considered. Thank you for watching.